Hi, in this video we're going to be covering agent deployment. There are two methods to agent deployment. One is going to be a manual method, the other is going to be an automatic push. Now typically, after you set up your first customer is when you're going to install your first Windows polling agent and the easiest way to do this is a manual install. So after you create your first customer on the drop down list, you're going to see it appear here. Now after selecting the customer, if I click on add device, it's going to come up and tell me that it must have at least one Windows polling agent. So every location needs to have at least one Windows polling agent. It can always have more, but at least one. So what I'm going to do is copy the URL, and it's going to provide an IP here. Obviously if you're using public DNS or public IP address information, that will be populated here. I'm going to click on that link, which will automatically copy to the clipboard, and then I'm just going to cancel out of this wizard. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring up my remote session here of the device I want to install the agent on. I'm going to paste the link right into the browser and you can see here that it's asking to save the file. I'm just going to go ahead and continue on through the installation process. Once done, I'm going to go ahead and open the executable, begin to install it. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on finish here and allow the services to start. At this point on, I should be able to go back to the studio and refresh and hopefully see my device come online, as I can see here. And as you can see, we have our agent that has successfully installed and showing in the studio now. At this point, we want to go ahead and utilize the push method, which all that requires is a valid domain admin or local admin credentials to install. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the device and go to tools deploy agent. At this point I'm going to go ahead and input the IP address of the device I'd like to install the agent on. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And it's telling me it's available for agent deployment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next again and give it the work group WMI credentials that I already have in the system. Click on next again and as we can see here it's using the work group WMI which is correct. I'm going to go ahead and click on next again and allow it to start installing. and that has installed successfully. If I go ahead and click on finish and I go back and refresh here I can see the device now has successfully installed and I have now two devices here at this customer network. So you can actually install on multiple IPs just provide the range and appropriate credentials and it should be able to push out to all the devices and that's pretty much it. That's the manual and push method to install both agents. Thank you.